Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the parents and to the class of 2024. My name is Dr. Trika Larry, and I am your ninth grade assistant pr principal this year. Again, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are in unprecedented times, and I know that this may not be exactly how you will want to start your transition into Westlake High School and parents as well. However, I do believe that this time has chosen us. Yes, this time has chosen you, class of 2024. You see the change, we see the change. What will be your impact now? Class of 2024, what will be your impact now and in four years? So as we venture into this upcoming year, I would like for you to think about what is your why? What will be your why? And continue to have a forward focused attitude. Class of 2024, you got this. We got this because we are Westlake. So I hope this video will motivate, inspire, and also make you reflect upon your upcoming years at Westlake High School. Again, welcome class of 2024 and welcome to our parents. When you wake up every morning, what drives you? If you want to live a life of success, a life of complete success, happiness and fulfillment, you must find your purpose. You see, if you don't know what your purpose is, if you don't know what drives you, what inspires you, then you have no reason to improve your life. How can you improve your life if you have no reason to improve it? Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? What's the reason? Why do you exist? Do you know what it takes to be great? Are you willing to go that extra mile? I tell you time and time again, you will get tired. But if you have a why, we'll give you that extra strength, that extra foot you need, that extra hour you need, the courage. Why are you different from everyone else who's trying to do the same thing you're doing? What makes you stand out? Why are you so important? Find your why. Your why will pull you up when you feel like you don't have the strength to get up anymore. Your why will keep you fighting when everyone else thinks you are out for the count. Why? Who are you fighting for? What drives you? Is your purpose your family? Is it to prove the doubt is wrong? Is it to prove yourself right? What is your purpose? Write down your purpose. Carry it with you everywhere. Feel it deep and promise yourself every day you will live your purpose with zero excuses. Somebody's waiting for you to mess up. Somebody's waiting for you to give up. Someone is waiting for you to fall. So when you're challenged by life, what are you going to do? When you feel like you're at your lowest point in life, will you throw in the time? Or will you make the move to be successful? Don't look back, just remember where you came from and let that drive push you to go forward. It's not always going to be an easy road. And when you reach success, you won't take it for granted. You'll cherish those moments you had to go through, those moments you were without. And when you fall down, get back up. Just yourself up. You need to find something that drives you. Something that no matter what happens, this part of you does not change. This drive in you does not change. This purpose never dies. No matter how many times life knocks you down, your purpose pulls you up every time. This is the reason I will fight for my dreams. This is the reason 
I will not take no for an answer. When it hurts, keep going. Those cloudy days, those storms, telling you to keep going. Those times in your life when you can't see how you're gonna make it. Some things you can't change. You just have to live with. But if you do have a choice, make the right choice. Your purpose is that one thing that lights you up. It's the one thing that will get you up early. That one thing. When you're doing it, time stops. Your purpose may be something you don't want. It may be seeing someone in your past and thinking, no matter what, I will ensure I never end up like that. Your purpose is always something that lights a fire in you. I will do this no matter what. My family is counting on me. My friends are counting on me. I am counting on me. I hope this video definitely expired, inspired you. So as we move into our Westlake freshman orientation agenda, keep in mind the theme is the time, this time and the time has chosen us. Hashtag we see the change, hashtag forward focus, hashtag class of 2024. This is our freshman orientation agenda for today. From nine to 9.30, we will have our welcome and also ninth grade parent meeting. At the conclusion of this meeting, students are to attend each 30 minute session. These sessions are led by our amazing teachers and staff members who are dedicated to your success here at Westlake High School. Specific links to these sessions were sent via email earlier this week. However, the links to each of these sessions are found in the chat section of the team's meeting and every session moving forward will also have the next session's chat link or session link. So let's go ahead and get started with our ninth grade parent meeting. So before actually we get started, let's look at some meeting norms and these norms are norms for all of our sessions moving forward. Please enter the meeting with your mic on mute. Please use the chat room function for questions. Please use the speak button only when recognized by the leader of the meeting and please be able. I'm sorry. Please be aware of your surroundings when using the camera function. Also, I will now introduce our administration team that will be your go to persons while you're here at Westlake High School. But first, I would like to introduce our principal. Who is forward thinking, innovative, leading from the front principal, Mr. Jamar. Robinson. Also, this is me, Dr. Tria Galeri. I will be your ninth grade assistant principal, and also I am the administrator of the science and CTAE departments. I am a native from Florida, also graduated from Florida State University, go Knowles, and I am an avid, an avid pursuer of science, everything science, as well as an educator at heart. Here's the rest of our Westlake administration team, starting with our curriculum assistant principal, as well as our student service coordinator, Ms. Johnson, our 10th grade assistant principal, Ms. Tosha Oliver, who's over the math and SEC and fine arts department. We also have Mr. Gregory Menes, 12th grade assistant principal over ELA and world languages. We have our 11th grade administrator, Ms. Hankerson, our athletic director, Carl Green, our IB coordinator, Janelle Wingfield, our magnet coordinator, Ms. Candace Hickman, and our instructional coach, Dr. Shanika Henry. So our agenda for today for our ninth grade parents is Westlake 101, looking at school safety and operations, student services, and nutrition, our overall academics moving into, moving into the new year, student expectations, and also technology usage and policies. So before we begin, our Westlake 101 is that our goal every year is Operation A. 
We want to be the best school on the south side of the city of Atlanta and the city of South Fulton. So our Westlake focus areas align with the district's focus areas, and that is student achievement, people and culture, and community collaboration. Also, Westlake, according to the state of Georgia, CCRPI's data is that we are a B school, 84.5 with a graduation, graduation rate of 92.6% and a school climate star rating of five, five star Westlake. Our goal is maintaining a legacy of excellence. And to do this, we have our Westlake collective commitments, which is collaborative partnerships, we commit to instructional ownership and we commit to professional stewardship. As well as we are an international baccalaureate school. In 2016, Westlake became a diploma program um, IB authorized school. And our goal is to ensure that our students are inquiring have open mindedness inquiring minds and is given a global context type of learning that includes inquiry action and through reflection moreover we're currently in the process of becoming nyp certified meaning our ninth and tenth grade students will be a part of the international baccalaureate program and it will be served through all ninth and tenth grade students through our middle years program our goal in the Westlake cluster is to have every elementary, middle, and high school become IB authorized. Also, we have a very active Westlake PTSA um, association here. If you want to find out additional information, also sign up to our PTS to join PTSA. Make sure you scan the barcode as well as stay up to date by following their Twitter, Facebook and Instagram Instagram page at Westlake HSPTSA. But also at the end of session four of our virtual orientation today for our ninth graders, you will have a amazing message from our principal, Mr. Robinson, as well as a presentation from the PTSA. So here's some Westlake 101 parents. School hours are always set at 8.20 to 3.30 p.m. And once we return face to face, and we're not really sure when that will be at this time, I wanted to also um, talk about our car riders and our bus riders. Again, once we return face to face, car riders will always enter through the front lobby doors and bus riders will always enter through the cafeteria, which the bus loop is in the back near the cafeteria and currently due to COVID, all visitors in the building must remain in the front lobby upon arrival and again masks and temperature checks are required before entering the front office as well as our student services now here are some important phone numbers for you so you can be able to use these as you your student matriculates through westlake high school also as you move into as we move into remote learning I also have included a remote learning hotline for your convenience. Now to talk about safety and operation, Fulton County has made steps to ensure that we help keep our students and staff safe every day. We have elevated staff and sanitation procedures based upon the CDC recommendation. We have increased the frequency of thorough hand washing in the building and with all employees. We have comprehensive cleaning of high touch surfaces. So once students do um, come back to the building, it will be clean for all of our students and staff members. We have masks and gloves provided and mandated for all staff. We have a strict food safety guidelines and daily wellness checks for all of our employees. If you want to receive any additional information in regards to the school safety and operations plan, please feel free to visit our Fulton County website they have specific information about the sanitation plans for the facilities school nutrition and transportation and then obviously all parents want to know about 
what's happening in student services. So student services is here to serve you. If you have any questions in regards to registration, if you want to make an appointment with your counselors, if you want to find out about transcripts or even receive a transcript, any information about withdrawals, if you want to meet your social worker, as well as anything in regards to academics and scheduling is done through student services. Here on the screen, you will see all of the counselors. And here at Westlake, our counselors are assigned to students based on their last name. So if your last name is Nelson, then that means Ms. Jackson will be your student's counselor for this upcoming year. Also, we do have graduation support within the um, building, as including our registrar, Ms. Holland, and also our graduation coach, Ms. Hudson. If you want, you can go ahead and take a picture of this screen. And the, this is all the information um, currently we have for student services and your counselors. However, keep in mind today, Yes, today at 6 p.m. to, to 8.30 p.m., we have our student services boot camp where you'll be able to meet our curriculum assistant principal and she has some amazing information and also informative um, things to talk about in regards to student services and how they can serve you as your child matriculates through Westlake High School. In regards to our nutrition program and services, Keep in mind, weekly meal service pickup during universal remote learning will continue. Specifically, meal pickup will end on July 31st. We do have some faith-based organizations that are um, being, uh, that has a um, collaboration with the Fulton County School System to have meals available for students on, for the weeks of August 3rd and also the week of August 10th. And then the Fulton County School meal pickup services will begin again on August 14th. If you need any additional information in regards to nutrition or the meal pickup services, please make sure you visit the school's nutrition website at www.fcsnutrition.org. However, I wanted to talk about when we return face to face. Under a face to face model, for your information, breakfast is always from 7.30 to 8.15 a.m. every morning. We have 30 minute lunches for all of our students and hot and cold options are daily. Now I know we're going into a remote learning, um, universal remote learning model thus far, but we do want to encourage you to go ahead and apply for the free and reduced meal benefits online. This particular QR code that is present on your screen is active, so go ahead start your benefit. Um, I'm sorry, go ahead and apply if you need to. And just keep in mind that the application is quick and seamless. So here are our updates, academic updates for the upcoming school year. Currently, our fall semester is going to be a universal remote, will utilize a universal remote learning model. Now, however, according to Dr. Looney, after September 8th, they may revisit a plan or phase in the face to face plan. However, we are waiting on the district to solidify the plan and if this is direction that Fulton County Schools will go. But as of right now, we are under a universal remote learning model. Teachers will have live sessions with students during their regularly scheduled class time via Microsoft Teams. Students are expected to be on time and engaged during each class session. Attendance will be taken daily and students will receive grades. The district again will continue to provide weekly meal services for pickup at designated schools and we are a designated school. Now here's Westlake Bell schedule under the URL model. School again starts at 820 and ends at 330. Each class block period is 90 minutes. Specifically in block three, we have a 20 minute time where all students will engage in social emotion learning modules, as well as our drop everything and re initiative that we have here at Westlake. Also, all students will report to lunch 1150 to 1220 PM every day. Again, Westlake will adhere to the AB schedule rotation classes on A day versus classes on B day every other day. Additional information about this schedule 
will be forthcoming again this afternoon, 6 p.m. Parent Boot Camp. Make sure that you look back at your email that was sent out from Westlake about our Student Services Parent Boot Camp. They give you all the information about what's happening academically here at Westlake. Also, we have the Lion Pride Bell Schedule. This particular bell schedule is when we have um, special events. It is alternative bell schedule schedule when we have alternative, alter, al, I'm sorry, alternative events <laughs> such as pep rallies, speakers, um, we need to go to homeroom, things of that sort. This is our alternative schedule for this upcoming school year. So I did want to talk about our class of 2024 goals, which was based on last year class of 2023, but also we just added a couple of more things. You know, this is a special class that's coming in. You guys are amazing. Your students are amazing. And during this unprecedented time, this is the first time that we've ever had a, a class, ninth grade class, come in under re universal remote learning. So you guys will set the tone for the next four years. We want 100% graduation rate. We want you guys to maintain 88% of higher overall academic average. And this will surely help you receive the um, Georgia Hope Scholarship. Pass all eight courses for first and second semester each year. We want the class of 2024 to enroll in at least one honors, IB and or advanced placement class join two or more extracurricular activities because it's really important to join you meet new people um, as well as be active within your community your westlake community but also we want the class of 2024 to complete 20 hours or more of community service but here are the expectation for all of our students Again, be logged on and prepare for instruction by 8.20 a.m. daily. Now keep in mind, announcements start each morning at 8.15, virtually. Follow all teacher instructions and be engaged. Attendance will be recorded daily, so make sure you're in your class ready to participate and engage. Also, parents, we want to want you to help your student adhere to all universe remote learning expectation and rules, including dress code, as well as the instructions and rules by designated by each teacher. We want you guys to help our students adhere to the Fulton County Schools digital technology and electronic policy, as well as we want all students to know that if you are not a part of an after school or extracurricular activity, specifically only fall sports, you must not be present on campus at any time. Our current dress code is reflect your respect. We want you to show our Westlake pride. Pride standing for being prepared, respectful, involved, dedicated, and enthusiastic. So to do this, we would like for all of our students to dress properly at all times during remote learning. No head coverings, no sleepwear slash pajama type garments, no low cut necklines or tube tops, no bare midriffs and no clothing showing drugs, vulgarity or any gang affiliation or attire. And in regards to student devices and technology, at this time students will keep their previously issued Fulton County School devices. So if you're in eighth grade at Sandtown, Camp Creek or any of the other Fulton County schools and you were issued a device, you will keep that device matriculating into Westlake High School at this time. Any students without devices or new to the school will receive their devices during the district's device deployment period and more information is to come to that um, for that. It is between August 3rd through August 14th. All students must adhere to the Fulton County Schools technology usage policy. Inappropriate usage of Fulton County Schools issued devices will result in dis disciplinary action. Now keep in mind, no screenshots during instructional time, so make sure you tell your students that. No visiting of unapproved websites, as well as no use of social media on these devices. All students are expected to adhere to the Fulton County School Student Handbook at all times. So that concludes that part. 
of our ninth grade meeting, but I just wanted to give you guys some reminders. The reminder is again, the parent boot camp presented by Student Services is tonight at 6 p.m. Please make sure you join. If you have not, the email was sent out um, earlier this week in regards to how to join and all of the sessions. The sessions will include student service essentials, success skills, and then what is NYP because we are NYP. And don't forget, our Westlake open house will be Friday, August 14th. Additional information will be sent out to all parents about our Westlake's open house this year. Again, Westlake open house is Friday, August 14th. And the first day of class is going to be Monday, August 17th. So I really can't wait to meet each and every one of you guys when you come, as well as to meet parents. And FYI, we do, we are, Fulton County Schools is having a back to school drive through August 1st, 2020, between 10 and 2 p.m. But make sure you register. These are free school supplies available, but they are limited. So you must go to the Fulton County Schools website to ensure that you register as soon as possible. Also, if you need to call to speak to a social worker in regards to additional resources that you may have, groceries, housing, transportation, any mental health services that you may need, please make sure you reach out to our school community connection um, through student support. That number is 470-254-0499. And it's also here on the screen. So as we venture into our Westlake freshman orientation agenda, um, keep in mind that each one of these sessions are about 30 minutes. The first ses session starts at 935. Session one is all about high school 101 for freshmen with our IB coordinator, Ms. Wingfield. Session two is all about destination graduation and goal setting with our graduation coach, Ms. Rhonda Hudson, and then we'll have a 10 minute break. Moving along at 11 o'clock, it's going to be getting involved. This is with our facilitator, one of our amazing law and public safety teachers, Mr. Curtis Woodhouse, as well as at 1135, we will have our athletic 101 session with our athletic director, Coach Green, as well as in this session, you will have an important message from our principal, Mr. Jamar Robinson, as well as a short presentation from our PTSA um, president, Ms. Walmack. All links to these sessions are in the chat. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please be sure to leave your comments in the chat as well at, or questions in the chat, as well as you can email me at LarryT at FultonCountySchools.org. Thank you again for taking out your time to have this ninth grade parent meeting with me. I want to welcome, welcome, welcome the class of 2024 and keep in mind the time and this time has chosen us. Let's be focused forward, have an amazing attitude and let's go class of 2024. You guys have an amazing freshman orientation. See you in session one.